personally, I can't get enough of award season. I love the opportunity to celebrate people's work and accomplishments. I love how recognition like this can open doors that weren't open before. They can inspire change. So for you personally, what does award season mean to you? Why is this time of year so special for the industry? What it means to me and why it's special to the industry are two, I think, very different things. I, 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 I can occur with you with regard to it's it's wonderful that actors get recognition for what what they have done it's unfortunate that i think it's important that it not become a competition even though on some level we are competing and that's the unfortunate part but i would say that certainly from the standpoint of giving actors recognition, that's absolutely tremendous. And I, you know, I'm a member of the Academy. And so many, many years <clears throat> during award season, I, I, I oftentimes I, I get to watch extraordinary work. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's um, really, really, you know, gratifying, rewarding, inspiring to see the depth and the breadth the magnitude of the talent that's out there and on and on display. Kind of got to be frank about this last one here because <laughs> the Golden Globes are on my mind. We're recording this interview the day after the ceremony. So what go I know what went my through my mind when I heard the nominations. What goes through your mind when there's so much positivity and buzz and support behind you? And then not only your personal nomination, but the five bloods is nowhere to be found in that nomination list because like it hurt me. I can't even imagine how it made you and the team feel. It reminded me that certain pockets of the industry, certain pockets of this process are still a business and it being a business, the connection between the business and the creative aspect do not always align. And I was reminded of that very starkly, very acutely in that moment that the uh, nominations for the Golden Globes were announced. What is something actionable that you think folks in the industry could do to change that, even when it's not an or it's not an organization that you're necessarily a part of, I always think it's worthwhile talking about the possibilities to at least spark that change. Right, and again, I think that is an entirely legitimate question. Um, it's very difficult for me to answer that question this year, as it as it relates to the Golden Globes, because I feel that anything that I say will be seen as sour grapes, perhaps. And I'm not trying to set myself up to be assessed in that regard. You know, interestingly, perhaps if you if I were not so directly involved in, in awards season this year, and on another year, I, I might be able to answer that more, quote unquote, objectively. Um, but having said that, I will say that I, I hope it is being looked at, not just in terms of me, because the fact is, as you know, if you're an award season fan, you know that every single year there are worthy performances that get ignored. I mean, the thing, and, I, and I, maybe I'll get in trouble for saying this, but I cannot understand at all how Alfre Woodard's work last year in Clemency was not lauded uh, more widely. Every year it happens that there are worthy performances that for whatever reason don't get the recognition. So as it relates to this year, I think this year is particularly egregious. And I think, and I can only hope that that process is deconstructed and looked into. Because if you're going to call yourself 
a legitimate awards giving organization, then how are you functioning? What are you recognizing and why? Now, they may say, well, we don't have to answer that question. And you're right, you don't. You don't, quote unquote, owe me or perhaps anybody else that. But when um, it involves such a seemingly blatant um, non-reaction, if you were hurt as a as a, as an observer, <laughs> I really should stop because yeah, I, know what you mean. Um, I, I just think you ask a legitimate question. I think it is a legitimate question to say, okay, what's what's going on here? What's really going on here? And smarter minds than myself will perhaps answer that question or investigate that.